Seek Vision presents Metaphysical Bible Study Shorts I The one eye, also known as the always seeing eye, the third eye, the inner eye, the mind's eye, the eye of imagination, the eye of memory, the dream eye, the psychic eye, the hidden eye, and pineal, or pineal, where Jacob saw God face to face, is inner spiritual vision, intuitive seeing, with the eye of truth. To have a single eye is to be established in truth, pure at heart and devoted in soul to God. The single eye is open and receptive only to the guiding light of spirit. Being double-minded causes confusion Stability helps spirituality to grow and develop. That is why Romans 8 7 states that the carnal mind, material mind, is enmity, not aligned with God. At the place called Dothan, God blinded the eyes of the Assyrians, thoughts consumed by sense. Elisha led the Assyrians into Samaria, objective consciousness where their eyes were once again opened. What we watch and are exposed to, what we feel, think and do, brings our vibratory frequency up and down respectively. If a person persists in recognising or perpetuating error and evil, the true fullness of a blissful life cannot be obtained. If thine eye, understanding, be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is the darkness. Matthew six twenty three. Our own fears cause the mighty spiritual forces that are always with us to seem distant or dissolved entirely. But blessings come when we can deny ignorance and fear and affirm the presence and power of the I am in all things. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew 5, 5. Meekness is the ability to react to all negative stimuli with love instead of the eye for an eye attitude. The single eye sees only God, good, everywhere, This perfect vision heals all disease in mind, body and affairs. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Matthew 6.22 The single eye is also the centre of imagination in mind. Imagination creates images and forms. It has the power to shape and form thought. Charles Fillmore says, The imagining faculty presides at the nerve centre between the eyes. Through this faculty, the formless takes form. More information is available in my book, The God Design. Secrets of the Mind, Body and Soul, available on Amazon and other platforms in paperback, ebook and audio formats. For free and pro versions of the Seek Vision Freedom Yoga app based on the teachings of the Essenes, head over to the App Store for iOS or the Google Play Store for Android versions. Thank you for watching. Peace and light.